In this video, I'm going to go over how to add ceilings into your Revit model. So I'm first going to come over here to our ceiling plan. So you'll see right here I have one that's labeled L1 architecture and L2 architecture. So first, I am going to rename this one to be my first floor ceiling plan. And now the next thing I need to do is I need to get my basement ceiling plan. So I'm going to come over here to my view tab and come here to plan views, reflected ceiling plan. And then here's one for my basement. So I'm going to click OK. And now I have my basement over here. I'm just going to add ceiling plan after that. And then now I'm just going to come back to my first floor ceiling plan. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that I have my new walls and I have my demo walls, and that's because our face filter isn't correct. So I'm going to come over here to properties and scroll down. We're going to change our face filter from show all to show previous and new. And this will now be my, my new plan. The next thing that we need to do is now add our ceilings. I'm going to come here to the architecture tab. We're going to come to ceilings. And over here, you'll see I have some things I can choose from. I've got a two by two or a two by four. This is your typical commercial ceiling with uh, that you would see in a commercial project where you have a ceiling grid. They have little tiles that you pop up. What we want to do is we want to do a jip board ceiling. So you've got five eighths jip board on metal stud and on wood furring. So I'm just going to do the wood furring for now. And you'll notice over here we have two things. We have an automatic ceiling and we have a sketch ceiling. So when I hover over, you'll see that there's some lines that represents where the ceiling boundary is going to be drawn. So if I click here, I have created a ceiling. Now we can't really see the ceiling, but if I come over here and I tab and select, you'll see that there's my ceiling. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to make this a little more visible so we can see where we have ceilings. So I'm going to come here to edit type. And I'm going to come here to edit. And right here where we have our gypsum wallboard, I'm going to click my three dots to bring up my material properties. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this one. And then I'm going to call this gypsum wallboard. And I'm going to call this ceiling. I'm going to add a surface pattern on here that's this gypsum plaster. And what this is going to do is that now, whenever we're looking at gypboard, it's going to give us that pattern. And the reason I do this is because I only want to see this in my ceiling plan. I don't want to see this in when I start doing my building sections or my interior elevations. So that's why we duplicated our material. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice now you can kind of easily see where we have this gypboard ceiling. So I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to keep adding my ceilings. You'll notice over here by default, it's putting them at nine feet. So I'm just going to leave them at nine feet for now. So our sketch ceiling tool is where we would is what we would use if we had a ceiling that needed to be lower than or not part of our wall boundaries. So for example, in a house, if we need to draw like a soffit around ductwork, that would be an example of when we would use sketch ceilings. But for the most part, we can use automatic ceilings. As long as our room has four walls to it, we can use that automatic ceiling function. So now that I have my ceilings in here, the next thing I need to do is add some light fixtures. So I'm going to come to the insert tab. I'm going to come here to load Autodesk family. And then I'm just going to come here to lighting and then just find some light fixtures that I'm going to put in the project. And what I'm going to find is I just want a regular recessed can light. So I'm going to go ahead and hit load. And then now when I come here to my component, I'll find my light fixture. And now I can come in here and I can add my can lights to my ceiling. Now this is my kitchen area. 
But really for me to lay out this light, I kind of need to see what's going on with the floor below. So the way to do this is to come to my underlay right here. I'm going to pick level one up to level two. And I want to say look down. And that will give me the layout of my first floor plan. So you can kind of see right here that I was a little off with my light fixtures. So I'm going to use my and move these over a little bit. And I want these centered between my cabinets. So I'm just gonna use my dimension tool and use the equal to get that nice and centered. Okay, now I can just use my align tool to get the other two in the right spot. So, the out-of-the-box Revit light fixtures are great, but they're very basic and there's not really a lot of customization that you can have with what's available. So another option is to find Revit families on the internet. So I have gone to this website called BIM Object and I have just downloaded a light fixture that I kind of liked that I want to include in my project. So after I've downloaded that, all I have to do is when I come in to place my components, I can just hit this button right here that says load family, or that's also in the insert tab as well. But then I'll just navigate to where I've saved that file. And now I can come in and place these light fixtures. I'm just gonna put two right there over my island. Now you'll see right here that these came in as squares. And the reason that is because our view is set to our course detail level. So Revit's just changed these to box just to kind of have them be a simple placeholder. But if I wanna see what they actually look like, I can just come here to fine. And then now I'll get those actual look of the light fixtures that I just included. So that's basically all that you need to know to add ceilings and light fixtures to your plans. One thing I should mention is if you wanted to do a slope ceiling, this is where we would need to come in and use our sketch tool. So I'm going to edit the boundary of this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a vaulted ceiling in this living room. So I'm going to come here to ceiling. And this time I'm going to sketch ceiling. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw my ceiling like this. And then I'm going to come and draw in half like this. And you'll see right here, there's a option for a sloped arrow. So if I go like this, then I can change. If I click on the slope arrow, I can change the height difference. So let's just bump that up to maybe say four feet. And actually, I don't want that on the tail. This is the tail right here. This is the head. So I want the head to be four feet higher than the tail. And we'll go like that. And then I'm just going to mirror this ceiling. And I'm just going to edit the boundary. And then I'm going to throw some can lights in here. 
and you'll notice that it actually slopes with the ceiling. And then if I come in here and cut a section, you'll see that I actually have a vaulted ceiling for my living room.